slept in, feeling good, getting ready to trade the FOMC. I got my Take Profit Trader account on to my Ninja Trader now, as well as my Apex. Probably going to add another prop firm that uses Ninja Trader so I can have them all within Ninja Trader. I've got one Apex account here. I've got my Take Profit Trader set up on these buy and sell buttons. Then I've got another Apex account set up on these buy and sell buttons on this chart, also on the 15 minute chart here. Then I can also use my Replicanto software to trade copy across any of these accounts from the different prop firms. Pretty excited about that. I just got in on a little short right at 30, 730. Just saw as we were moving up here, Delta's dropping off, getting lower and lower. We had some divergence up here. Nice wick on this candle. Ended up dropping a lot further than my take profit. I also saw this little gap right here on the one minute chart. Thought we'd come back and fill this gap. And we did. I've got some two minute charts up with some new things that I'm working on. NQ and an ES two minute chart. And I've got my one minute, my five minute, and my longer term charts over here. I scroll through. We had a nice bounce right off of VWAP there. Up 15 points. I just took along there on the Apex account. This is the chart where the trend in reversal has the input of Delta. Thought that would be helpful for trading FOMC. We had this neutral candle, tiny little body, wicks on both sides. Saw us pushing up, saw Delta creeping up. Got in on a little scalp long. Got out before we hit R1. We're getting a bounce down off of R1 right now. Also note how we pulled down right to yesterday's point of control, pretty much on the tick there. Had a nice bounce right off of yesterday's point of control. I had to pull up a four hour chart, load 69 days worth of data, get some better support and resistance. We were going off the charts for the data that I had loaded on the 60 minute chart. We had a nice level right here where we pulled up to. Little ledge on the volume profile. Had a big rejection back here. Bunch of rejections up here and there. We've been retracing from this level so far. While I was jabbering, we pulled down right to the 20 SMA. Just bounced up 40 points. We just came right down to yesterday's close. Popped up like 30 points there. Just went for a little scalp on my other Apex account. Saw us pushing above whole number. Should have held on for another 20 or 30 points. Jeez. Just made it up to the 20 SMA. Bounced down over 20 points. Really just moving from key level to key level to key level. To key level to key level. That's why I like to make sure I got plenty of room if I'm going to get into a trade before we hit our next key level. I just got into another long. Took it on my Take Profit Trader account this time. Got a couple hundred bucks pretty much. We broke whole number, pulled back a little bit. I got in, got in on a long there around the close of this candle in the one minute. We'd broken above yesterday's point of control. We had plenty of room up to R1, up around 650 between the three accounts. Power, especially for those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. Our restrictive monetary policy has helped restore the balance yes. between aggregate supply and demand. Shit is expensive. Inflationary pressures and ensuring that inflation expectations, as inflation has declined, and the market didn't like started, that. The upside risks to inflation have been just got in a short that went to full target after we broke below yesterday's point of control. Didn't want to hold it. We had delta drying up, but with all the volatility, I got the full ten point target right away. To get in this Apex account. Up like 850 now between all three accounts. I just got into one last short scalp. We were closing below the 20 here. Delta was picking up. Took it on my take profit trader account. Wasn't going in my direction fast enough and I didn't want to take on any unnecessary risks so I got out pretty early. So still just up around 850 bucks. 
between the three accounts. I'm going to call it a day here. I hope you got some good ideas for your own trading. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.